And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2022 Tampa Bay Rays. So just about set now and getting the call for this one, Ryan Yarborough. Four pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold yeah, something complete. back a little bit later, yeah, maybe second, third time through the order and That's give them something they haven't yeah. seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter. You really have to stay on your toes. Mullins can't hold up, and that's a strike. No out. The pitch. Foul ball. Deal two. Ball Hold one on. there. Who's the first here? And a swing and a miss. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. That yeah, left-handed batter facing a left-handed pitcher that's got some sink like that at the end. It's just the bottom falls out of it. When it looks like it's going to be a pretty good pitch in that location that everyone says lefties love. Here's Adley Rutschman, the switch hitter batting right. And first offering is fouled off. Good eye in that spot. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And we got one here. And a pitch. The punch out there. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Anthony Santander at the plate. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Next offering is foul back. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. All tied up at three apiece. Back here at Tropicana Field, and now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Rayleigh, back to work. That's a strike going along. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can hey, score on that base hit. Owen oh, Tuzzi waves at that one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Owen oh, Tu now. One ball, two strikes, Cam. And a foul ball, he stays alive.
the one two and a pop up right side foul territory got it, got it. Choi makes the play and there's one away now that substitution now at second base on a pinch run Jorge Mateo so next to hit for Baltimore Gunnar Henderson one for three and a sack bunt here and it goes just foul Yo one puts a bunt down. Can't pick it up with the bare hand. The throw into second. Safe. Almost made the play, but now it's a one run ball game. And now it's Austin Hayes. In there for strike one. And a swing and a miss. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. One down. One down. The 0 2. Got him. And there's two away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked Number very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And next for the Orioles, Ramon Urias. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. A strike. And a 1 1. And a swing and a miss there. And make a play. Get us back in there. And a ball and two strikes. Peralta on the move. Snags it on the run. And that is that. Last chance to even things up. We head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Orioles four and the Rays three. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. 4-3, our final score. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our, our entire outstanding here crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.